the same types of commands that can cause front lash can also cause backlash. Truman, for example, seized the steel mills in order to prevent an industrial action, a strike that would have halted steel production. He said he did this because the U.S. needed steel um, and to sort of maintain the war effort. Now, this was ultimately repudiated by the courts and the public was unhappy with this. Now, for what it's worth, by the time the courts ruled against him, the in management and labor had already come to an agreement and there ended up no strike. So while this did cause some backlash and perhaps led people to question Truman's presidency and his use of this power, it ultimately didn't cause his presidency to be a failure. So remember that, that not all command failure and not all failures are necessarily going to cause a presidency to fail. However, we can see that some might be a bigger problem than others. In the case of President Reagan, his dealing with Iran-Contra and this scandal that emerged really caused him quite a lot of trouble in the media and raised a lot of questions of whether he could recover. And this may be one of the reasons why Reagan is not listed as a great president on those different surveys that I used to find that list of great presidents. Now, military actions for from which for which the president has an awful lot of control, right? President is commander in chief, often commands the military. That is his, one of his constitutional duties. But in the case of the Bay of Pigs, Kennedy's command there did not work out well, and a lot of people died. And it was seen as a pretty major fiasco. Now, this ultimately did not necessarily taint his presidency too much because he was able to recover with actions like his response during the Cuban Missile Crisis.